When I was considering a career shift from railways to sports facilities, it was obvious that I needed to talk with people in that other industry. However, I didn't have a clear idea of what I wanted to do, and I doubted why anyone would give me their time, yet alone their advice. But I reached out to the director of facilities in the athletics department at my alma mater, and he agreed that I could come by his office. He may not remember that our brief chat ever happened, but decades later, I still do. While I don't recall much of what was actually said, I do remember how I felt. I felt encouraged to keep exploring and asking questions. I felt validated to be researching a wide range of career possibilities. I felt confident to follow my instincts. He didn't give me a job or tell me what jobs to apply for. He simply shared his own experience, which is what a mentor does. As our chat ended, he picked up an industry magazine that was on his desk, and he let me take it to read. In hindsight, that's how I discovered a conference that I eventually attended, where I scouted prospective employers and truly made the career shift happen. I encourage you to consider mentors as people who have a role that intrigues you. You can listen to them tell you about the path they took to get to that place, And then it's up to you to choose if you want to follow the exact same path, if it even still exists, forge a different path, or just take some of their more practical advice. A mentor may knowingly or unknowingly offer you a key that unlocks opportunities that you may not realize till later, but you'll only get it if you're willing to have the conversations. So here are four things to help you talk with someone in a role that intrigues you. Number one, how did you get through periods of feeling stuck on your career path? This prompts a deeper story about their journey beyond what's on their LinkedIn profile. The reply can also reinforce that it's not just you who has rough patches to navigate. Number two, what part of the bigger picture am I not yet seeing? Having them share how they see the world can give you glimpses into new perspectives and expand your thinking. This also encourages you to keep going beyond the technical and to look for connections and collaborations. Number three, what do you read and or listen to for industry knowledge and trends? Some specific recommendations can help you pick up more terminology and you can notice what further catches your interest. And number four, who do you suggest I talk to next? No single individual can provide all the support and advice you need. Keep networking by getting one fascinating person to introduce you to another fascinating person. As a bonus, these questions can work with your current senior executives as well. Big shout out and thank you to everyone who has been a mentor in just one conversation or in hundreds. Your impact has probably rippled further than you can imagine. I'm Ann Drummy, a leadership coach. I hope these tips help you get moving in your career.